Kolo Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, Bashim Rakakwadash, the double honest of the apostles, the bishops, the elders of Great Millstone, Shalom to the elect of the nation of Israel. Yahweh is in the name of the Heavenly Father, which is the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Bashim, which means in the name of Yahweh Shai, is the name of the only begotten Son, who was sent to deliver the children of Israel from their sins. Bashim Rakakwadash means in the name of the Holy Spirit, which is the volume of the book, the Spirit of Truth. And uh, Shalom La Baharium, peace to the elect, that's the men, women, and children. Whose names are written in the Lamb's Book of Life, who's ordained to be delivered in these last days. Shalom to you all. And uh, I was watching uh, some of these elder brothers' videos. Um, this video here from uh, GMS Rebuke the Tempter 2. All right, it's called uh, GMS Building with the Allah High and Building with the Gods. And this video was streamed on two services where. Uh, on GMS Rebuke the Tempted 2 and also to GMS Awakening 144. Subscribe. If you're not, uh, you should do so. Uh, and they were talking about how the children of Israel, you so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans are going to the other nations in the one of all things. And nothing moves unless the other nations allow it. In particular, all right, the one the main nation we're going to focus on. All right, the main biblical nation that we're going to focus on is the Amalekites. All right, and they talked about uh, his name is Leor Cohen. Okay, when I was watching his video, it sparked me to do the video because, okay, uh, Leor Cohen, when we go to uh, Wikipedia, all right, we'll show you two things about Mr. Leor Cohen. It says Leor Cohen is an American music industry executive and entrepreneur. He has been actively involved in hip-hop at various record labels for more than 30 years he started by managing rappers for rush productions then led def jam after def jam cohen took it on a new took on a leadership role at warner music group in 2012 september 2012 cohen resigned from warner and started his own independent label 300 entertainment on september 18th 2016 cohen was named YouTube's global head of music. So anything that is involved with the hip hop industry and the distribution and the images and you know, it gets sanctioned and is authorized by this man here by the name of Leo Cohen, which Leo Cohen is a 1948er. He's a Malachite. He's a, he's a, a part of the you wish community. Okay. And, um, the thing that stuck out, stood out about to me about Leo Cohen. Another thing is, is that his name is basically a a, a a nomen omen, meaning that his name is a name prediction. It tells you who he is. All right. So when you go into the word Leo, all right, it goes back to La Ya Awar, right, which is a given name which means my light. In the Lashawan Kodash in, in the Hebrew. Okay? That's what this name means. My light, right? Okay? Now, when you go to the last name Kohen, okay, it says the name Kohen is a gender neutral name of the Hebrew origin that means priest. So this man's name literally means my light priest. All right? And what you have via media okay all right or uh the youtube all right which the media is goes back to the word medium or it plays the in between okay of the people and the higher illuminaries this man's a lesser illuminary he's basically a gatekeeper of the lower or what they will call goyim or goyim okay and when you go into you know the understanding of who Lucifer is, which this gets real interesting, especially with the narratives that what they try to play on as far as Christianity, Roman Catholicism, on who Lucifer is. Right? Was not Lucifer according to Roman Catholicism? <laughs> All right, wasn't he an angel? What, what, didn't he have he, he, his body was made of instruments? He was known for music. Who controls the music industry? Okay, which we understand that that concept isn't real, but it's interesting how the false narrative on who Lucifer is still 
points the finger to these people. Okay, so real quick, I'm gonna just get that. Isaiah 14. All right. Let me just type it in so it can come up faster. Okay, because the higher luminaries are your DuPonts, the Oppenheimers, the uh, Skimmer Horns, okay, the, uh, uh, those different banking families, the Knickerbockers, all right? This is Isaiah 14 and 12, okay? We'll start at verse 11. Thy pomp is brought down to the grave, and the noise of thy vows, the worm is spread under thee, and the worms cover thee. Okay, matter of fact, let's start up higher. Okay, it says, uh, verse 9, hell from beneath is moved for, for thee to meet thee at thy coming, meaning what? Death and destruction. It stir up the dead for thee, even all the chief ones of the earth. It have raised up from their thrones all the kingdoms, kings of the nations. All they shall speak and say unto thee, art thou also become weak as we? Or thou become like unto us, right? Because they're going to come a point in time where those that are considered the first of the nations, okay, when you go into Numbers, the 24th chapter, I have, which are the gatekeepers of society. You have the higher luminaries, like I mentioned, the top banking families, but then you have those lesser luminaries, such as Leo Cohen, who control the media and control the different industries of the world, which are the distributors of these corporations amongst all the nations, Ammonites, Moabites, Hamites, so on and so forth, right? And there's gonna come a point in time after the point of Yahweh Shai, those kings, those different leaders of those people are gonna look at him, Amalek, right? As we're gonna show you that this is Lucifer, this is who Lucifer is, right? That he's gonna be on a low level, just like them in the kingdom of heaven, okay? It says, and they shall speak and say unto thee, art thou become weak as we? Art thou become like unto us? Thy pomp is brought down to the grave and the noise of thy vows, the worm is spread under thee and the worms cover thee, right? Because the worms represent corruption, all right? Um, um, corrosion, excuse me, okay? Meaning what a decaying, meaning you were once a prominent figure in society, but your name is down in the grave your name is down in the mud okay and it says how art thou fall from heaven O lucifer son of the morning how art thou cut down to the ground which did is weaken the nations right because this is obviously talking about a man that's on the earth right now that did what he weakened the nations and when you get into the financial industries of the world these different corporations they you know they uh, cripple these are uh, 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 different countries and the, the different nations on the earth to make them weak. But in this time, he's going to be weak as them. Why? Because the true children of the Most High, the so-called Negroes, the Spanish, and Native Americans, and the believers throughout the four winds of the earth, the real Hebrew Israelites are going to be in power. And these people are going to be brought down very low. It says, for thou hast said in thy heart, I will ascend into heaven, meaning get that prominent figure, be that prominent figure on society. I will exalt my throne above the stars of the Most High. I will sit also upon the mount of the congregation in the sides of the north. I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. I will be like the Most High. Yet thou shalt be brought down to hell to the sides of the pit. Yeah, man, I mean, you're going to be brought to a low estate. Now, uh, Verse 16, it says that they that see thee shall narrowly look upon thee and consider thee saying, is this the man that made the earth to tremble? Right. This is the man that made the earth to tremble. Right. That did shake kingdoms. Right. Through its uh, uh, waging of war. That made the world as a wilderness. And destroyed the cities thereof that opened not the house of his prisoners. Who controls the prison industrial complex? Lo and behold, Amalek, the you wish people, the 1948ers, the small hats. So this is obviously talking about a man. Right now, when you go into that word Lucifer, let's see what it says here. 
I never looked it up on Blue Letter. Light bearer. It says it's on point. Shining one. Morning star. Lucifer. Okay. All right. And it also says describing the king of Babylon. That's why when you go to Jeremiah 50, Jeremiah 51, tie it in with uh, Revelation 18. Okay. With it, the scriptures give a description on Edom and Babylon. It's synonymous. All right. Because Edom is the, uh, 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 the grandfather of Amalek. And Amalek is the tribe of what you know to be today the Jewish people, which are the, ultimately the kings of Babylon, showing you that this is a man on earth. And like it says, light bearer, right? Light bearer. Again, what does this man name mean? Leo Cohen, the person that controlled the greatest media out, uh, outsource on earth, YouTube, the priest of light. Okay And like I said earlier <laughs> It's kind of interesting Because look I'm going to just show you this And you look When they make the comparison And you look What the devil looks like It looks like this It looks like these people Alright And we already know about this man Madoff Alright It's a fraud He's a fraud He's a scammer And he got off scot free because he's the devil that the Bible speaks of, speaks of, all right. He is a uh, he's a, he is a Luciferian, which is ultimately a religion. Okay. Uh, real quick, let's go to Numbers the twenty fourth chapter. All right. Numbers 24 and 14. And now, behold, I go unto my people. Come therefore, and I will advertise thee what this people shall do to thy people in the latter days. Right? This is Balaam talking to Balak. All right? Balaam was sent by Balak to go prophesy against the children of Israel. All right? To curse the children of Israel. But what he found out was that he cannot curse these people. These people are blessed for, for uh, will be blessed forever. Verse 15, and he took up this parable and said, Balaam, the son of Beor, hath said, and the man whose eyes are open have said, he hath said, which heard the words of the Most High and knew the knowledge of the Most High, which saw the vision of the Almighty falling into a trance, but having his eyes open. I shall see him, but not now. I shall behold him, but not, not nigh. There shall come a star out of Jacob. This is talking about Yahweh Shai, the one whom the world enemy called Jesus Christ. And a scepter shall arise out of Israel and shall smite the corners of Moab, right? And destroy all the children of Seth, all right? Which Moab is who? That represents the so-called uh, Chinese people today, okay? The Moabites who are in league with the Edomites, okay? And Edom shall be a possession Seir also shall be a possession for his enemies, which, you know, this is also representing those people, the so-called white people today, Edomites, right? And Israel shall do violently, violently, excuse me, meaning they're going to triumph. They're going to they're going to be victorious. The true Hebrew Israelites are going to be victorious. What? In the latter days, as it explains in the 14th verse, verse 19, out of Jacob shall come he that shall have dominion and shall destroy him that remaineth of the city. And when he looked on Amalek, he took up his parable and said, Amalek was the first of the nations, but his latter end shall be that he perish forever. And that's inevitably what's coming down the pike for the small hats, the you wish people. All right, that they're gonna perish forever. All right, meaning the Mosai is going to take them out of power. 
And there's going to come a point in time where they're going to be bottled up, thrown into a ditch, them and, them and the rest of the Edomites. And they're going to be burnt up. Thus they have the Holy Scriptures, Obadiah 1 and verse uh, 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 18. Okay? There's going to be no remembrance of the Edomites, man. Okay? So, yeah, I just want to show this because this is, this man's name is a omen, nomen omen to show forth who Lucifer is. All right, which this guy is a lesser luminary. He's not like a Rothschild or anything like that. But nonetheless, this shows who is in true control, which the Bible prophesied. Okay? And I'm going to close on that, man. <laughs> Call Lord Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Rakakwadash, and uh, Shalom to the elect out there.